Welcome good people, my name is Mista and today we gonna look into some gaming news. Yes, uh, we are streaming live from Twitch tv slash mr gaming and then the vote will, will be uploaded on youtube over on youtube so and then also on podcast uh check out the vote on youtube if you miss the live show the live show is every monday on 9 p.m eastern europe time uh and we get getting into the uh, latest news of the la of the past week uh, so yeah, let's without further delay uh, dive into the news. But before that, please, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and like and share. Leave the comments below your thoughts about the news and the topics we're talking about. You can find all the links in the description below. And people in the podcast, please leave a, leave, leave a, leave a review or something. Let me know what, what you want to, uh, how do you like the show? And yeah. Without further delay, let's dive right into the news, guys. So, today we have... Who is that? You know that? This is Dr. Disrespect. And we have like a, a little mention, let's say. He uh, signed with Twitch. And he will be exclusive on Twitch uh, now. And he dropped a um, video on, on his Twitter account where he uh, does a, a little like a uh, scene with with like an action scene which is awesome i love the video so you should uh, definitely go and check it out it it's it's a great video so yeah and he's amazing <laughs> love this guy and yeah i wish you everything uh, will be good in your career in life the doctor of disrespect and uh, thank you and appreciate you and looking up to you so uh, that was it. The uh, first section. It was a s small mention. You can read the article. It's the, it's an interesting article by The Verge. So please uh, check the link uh, out in the description below. Um, let's go to the next topic, which is Control's first expansion is called The Foundation. It's coming on out on March 26. So. Control was one of the best and weirdest games of last year, but Rem Remedy isn't done explo uh, exploring the oldest house just yet. The developer announced on Thursday that game's first big expansion, The Foundation, will be released on March 26th. Remedy made the announcement via the game's Twitter account and included a short video teaser. As usual, with Control, the video is pretty vague and heavy, on the mysteries but there are a few things we can figure out from the hints first of all based on the name it seems like we'll be heading down to the black rock query this uh, the supposed f foundation of the oldest house based on all that weird stuff that's con uh, constantly happening in the rest of the federal bureau of controls Headquarters, its lowest levels are sure to be filled with supernatural energy. So, this is very interesting. You can find the link in the description below, and also uh, there is a link to the Twitter video, so you can check it out too. Interesting. I haven't I haven't played uh, Control to be honest, and uh, I want to. It it looks like a, everyone who played it like, says that it's amazing. And uh, we should try it out if we will do get current uh, quarantine in here in Greece. So maybe I'm gonna pick it up. So next news: Horizon Zero Dawn, guys, will uh, support ultra wide on PC. As we know, Horizon Zero Dawn will be uh, released for PC this summer, and now. In the official um, page, let's say of uh, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, you can see from from uh, Gorilla Games, they have posted a wide screen screenshot three thirty four forty uh, x fourteen forty, which is a ultra wide resolution. So check it out; it looks awesome. Uh, we'll have it uh, linked in the description below, of course. And it, it is the first uh, 
first time that uh, an exclusive will be launched in the PC. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But we'll see. Looks looks great though, and I'm glad that more people can experience this amazing game, and uh, that the uh, PlayStation will continue and support the single player experiences. Yeah, thank you so much, Gorilla Games and Sony. So yeah, let's move on. Next news: We have uh, Xbox Series X official specs, target performance, and more revealed. Microsoft has dug deep into the internals of the Xbox Series X. So um, the Xbox Series X will feature 12 teraflops of performance build of AMD's new Air RDNA 2 architecture. The GPU will feature 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory across a variable memory bus. 10 gigabytes will run at 560 gigabits while the remaining 6 gigabyte will run at slower 30 330 gigabits the specs the spec sheet also confirms that the series x will support two types of external memory allowing you to expand ssd storage with a pro pro priority pro priority drive from seagate or store games uh, on external air hard disk drive in the same way as the xbox one proprietary oh my god i cannot say the word so uh yes and microsoft has also stated that it aims to release games that target 4k and 60 frames per second as a standard the spec sheet also reconfirms that the console will target 120 frames per second for some titles and support variable refresh rate displays oh my god so if 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 they can do that like 120 frames i don't i don't know for i don't need 4k just uh, let me do 2k 120 frames please that would be awesome that would be awesome i hope they will do they will they will accomplish that so the full specifications can be seen below it says here so yeah as we said cpu 8 core zen 2 uh, at 3.8 gigahertz 3.6 with smt uh, gpu 12 teraflops 50 tcus at a 1.825 gigahertz ca custom rdna2 die size 360.45 uh cubic millimeters um process tsmc 7 animatic enhanced memory 16 gigabytes gddr6 memory bandwidth 10 gigabytes at 560 gigabits 6 gigabytes at 336 gigabits per second uh io through throughput 2.4 gigabits raw form 4.8 gigabits compressed Expandable storage 1 terabyte expansion card, external storage USB 3.2, 3.2 HDD support, optical drive 4K UHD Blu ray drive, and performance target 4K at 60 FPS up to 120 FPS, which is amazing, just amazing. I think, uh, yeah, it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be great gonna be great holy moly yeah already love that thing <laughs> yeah so let's uh yeah let's see the next one which is resident evil 3 remake demo releasing later this week this is exciting the Re resident evil 3 make uh, 3 remake the demo will be free to download on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC from this Thursday, March 19th. In addition, Capcom announced that an uh, open beta for asymmetric multiplayer Resident Evil Res Resistance will also be running from March 27th for a limited time. You can watch the trailer in this article. Uh, please check it out in the description below. 
and I am excited. I'm gonna be downloading it and I'm gonna be playing it and also I'm gonna check out the resistance and uh, probably gonna do some videos about that on you on, on YouTube. So youtube.com slash Uh please 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 leave a subscription there and like yeah thank you so shameless plug is over let's continue and move on to the next item of business playstation 5 games uh sony taking matters into its own hands uh for shock playstation 5 release a classic a classic franchise that is first appeared on ps1 could make a shock return on the ps5 according to fresh reports online sony may be teaming up with konami to bring back the silent hill franchise oh i got the goosebumps look at that shit holy shit uh so originally two years ago or so probably a little less i got confirmed from a few people known that konami was reaching out to various developers to found two silent hill games to find to, uh, one a soft reboot uh, on one an episodic title reads as Dusk Golem Tweet. Holy moly! We're gonna get Silent Hill, guys. <laughs> this uh, this letter also got mentioned by Eurogamer, so I believe it was true. But I was confused why Sony would ever be going through the process of trying to mend things between Konami and Kojima. Hmm. Hmm. We also know we also know that um, they want to uh, continue the Metal Gear Solid franchise, and Sony wants to work with Kojima and buy uh, the um, let's say the rights for the Metal Gear Solid franchise, and and have Kojima work and continue on the on on, on the games. So, if that's true, holy shit, we're gonna get Silent Hill. We're gonna get Metal Gear Solid and we're gonna get Kojima involved in these projects. Oh my god. Get the goosebumps. Metal Gear Solid, as you know, is one of my favorite games. Also, it's like Final Fantasy, Metal Gear Solid, and Go to War. And oh my god, Jesus. Okay. I hope it's true. Please, please, you can read through the article and, and see all the uh, uh, details there. But I hope it's true. Please, please be true and Konami and Sony find a solution, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much, Sony. You're the best. Next news. Holy moly, let's do this. PlayStation 5 single player promise must succeed for gaming creator, gaming's greater good. So, um... That means Sony has been the biggest proponent proponent of single player gaming during this console generation. Head of Sony Worldwide Studios Herman Holst says that will continue going forward with PS5. So there will be a single player proponent also in the PS5. Uh, we need this strategy to succeed if we want gaming to grow as an art form. The battle, uh, the battle lines are being drawn up, up uh, for the console war. The Xbox Series X seems to be standing on the lines of game streaming and subscription services. The PS5, well, we don't know anything about the, <laughs> what the PS5 is doing. The real burning question is whether or not PS5 will continue to live up to the single player promise made by the PS4, according to the new head of Sony Warbite Studios, Herman Holst. <laughs> That's a big yes. The PS5 might be the last bastion of single play gaming. So this is a topic. This is a, a, an issue that I am like super passionate about. And I'm reading that and I'm getting the ghost bombs now here because I'm super passionate about that. And I'm so supporting Sony for that and PlayStation and 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 uh whoever says that single player games are dead or are, will are not have no future or don't want to invest on that and uh, i say you all go fuck yourselves i'm sorry so, to say that that like ugly way but it is what i'm thinking so yeah single player games are 
a form of art they are uh, very important to us they are very they're the foundation of gaming i love single player games uh, multiplayer games don't get me wrong but i need my single player games and it is the most important aspect of gaming is also the single player experience because the stories we will experience and the the unique way we engage with the medium is only found in the single player game genre so please continue with that okay so the war between single player and multiplayer has been raging for quite a while now for the longest time game companies seemed convinced that you just couldn't sell a single player game without a token multiplayer mode attached at the start of the last decade companies like ea ea fuck ea claimed that single player games were finished since then games like god of war and horizon zero dawn proved them wrong if false is to be believed the ps5 will continue to do so uh, it's really down to ps5 to keep single player games alive sony's console has been the biggest proponent of the single player gaming over the last five years they have single-handedly proven that single player games can still sell well live service games stand in direct opposition to single play games the biggest opponent to single player gaming is live service gaming games like destiny 2 and Grand Theft Auto Online are games that are intended to be pretty much enter eternal and require you to interact with other players. They also usually require you to invest money in micro payments, micro transactions. Yes, while these sorts of games are almost certainly be available on PS5, they probably won't be the main draw. For the longest time, Sony has been the place to go for single player gaming for the good of gaming as an art form that really needs to continue. Live services and multiplayer only games certainly can advance the art of game development, but they tend to be designed around driving players towards microtransactions, which isn't conductive to creating great art. Single player games meanwhile exist only on how well made they are and focus is given over almost entirely to the art of the of design itself. If gaming wants to continue to grow, the PS5 needs to successfully double down on single player games. Thank you, Mr. William Worrell, who wrote this article you're fantastic i agree so 100 percent with that and i cannot believe why people should think otherwise single player games are the future they will have to support single player games like cd project does like sony does please continue to do and bring us amazing amazing games like that okay okay uh took, <laughs> that, that could be a video like on its own so let's move on next news this one is exciting nvidia is calling on gaming pc owners to put their systems to work fighting covid 19 so there is an article and a tweet uh from nvidia geforce you can use that you can you can download an app and use and help um use your GPU's power and help uh, to, like, uh, let's say, let me let me read it out just not to. Wait, wait. While you keep going with your everyday activities, your computer will be working to help us find cures for diseases like cancer, LAS, Parkinson's, uh, uh, Huntington's, influenza, and many others. Folding home, start folding. So you share that and you help with that. So you help with the uh, with, with finding the cures for these diseases because you are uh, sharing your compute power to the scientists 
uh, this is something very amazing I've downloaded this uh, please if you have a PC download that and when when you have like time when you don't use your when you don't game or do something like in, intensive on your PC or you're browsing or you just I don't know reading or watching so some film or something just just put this program on and help out it costs not cost you nothing so yeah I support that link in the description below so please please check it out okay next news Call of Duty Warzone hits 15 million players in three days outpacing record setting Apex Legend holy shit 15 million players in three days guys that is that is like huge so look at that so someone posted the numbers number of call of duty warzone players after one day six millions after three days 15 millions number of apex legends after one day 2.5 vs6 of uh, call of duty three days 10 millions 15 call of duty one week 25 four weeks 50 million on apex so we will see how uh, warzone will do uh, will do like uh in uh, the future warzone is a very great mode yes it's an amazing mode it's an amazing mode i love it and it's in and, and it's fun it's super fun it's well crafted the only thing i don't like it's they can fix that though the 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 the, uh, the cross like they, they put the microtransactions in your face all the time so just settle this down a little bit like turn it down a notch yeah so yikes please like this micro we get it you need to make money but make it a little bit discreet you know we see that we would appreciate that we would buy more if you would do that maybe so yeah please but the game is great so and the numbers show it uh number of fortnite players after two weeks was 10 millions two weeks so Call of Duty hit 15 million. That more than Fortnite, like big time. So I think it's an, it's 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 a good start, and they can and imagine they will improve the game over time, and it will get like get, maybe we get solos, maybe we get like more uh to, more people in a team, you know, a squad of three is now the limit. Maybe like make it five. I don't know. Uh, which would be, would be awesome I don't know they will do much new things there in the future I think and I love it I played it a lot and we will stream it on Twitch at TV slash Mr. Gaming please come and check it out so next news Steam hits all time concurrent user peak over the weekend so Steam broke its record again they're breaking their, their own records like all the time so they uh, users over the weekend with a 24-hour peak set at 20, 20,313,451 which from nearly no, 6.4 million of them were actively playing a game like it's crazy it's crazy numbers uh, the previous record was 90 million but uh, they picked now because of the, of the virus everybody stays home and then we have the current uh, quarantines in some countries so they just like the numbers peak and they are uh, predicted to have even more like in the coming days because of more and more people will stay home so yeah it's crazy what a virus can do and change so much stuff like uh in the world yeah it, it's scary but also like interesting to see what uh, what is happening you know how one thing can uh, affect the lives of and the the uh, habits of all the people in the on the earth so interesting next news so the two last news is about two companies uh, about the covid-19 so they are, have put uh, an, announced that uh, rockstar games uh, will be closing the offices and then they arranged for the people to, to work for the uh, employees to work from home which is amazing i think so uh, i have put the tweet the tweet uh, you can you can check it out in the description below uh, uh yeah and the message 
says, in the interest of re reducing the possible impact of COVID-19, Rockstar Games has implemented work from home policies across our international offices and studios. After significant research and con consultation with our teams around the world, we began rolling out remote work solutions worldwide across the past week, and we are confident we have a robust system in place for our teams to continue their work with a minimum or dis disruption. Uh, our online games will continue to operate as usual and their support teams will remain available for your players. The health and safety of our employees and their families remains our top priority and we will continue to adapt our practices to the situation as it evo evolves. They appreci we appreciate your patience and understanding and wish you and your families the best of health during this unusual time. Thank you, the Rockstar Games team. That is great. Thank you. Well done. Every company that does that and take care of its employees and send, like, send them home. Send them home just to be careful. Better be safe than sorry. So please do that. I don't know why we're still working, but it's okay. CD Projekt Red did the same on COVID-19. So, and they put out also a tweet and an Instagram post. You can check it out. They say many of you are probably wondering how things are uh, at CD Projekt Red and how COVID-19 influences our day-to-day -day operations. Here is a short update. Over the past week, we have been adapting the situation and gradually rolling out preventive measures across our entire organization. We have also been upgrading equipment and infrastructure and working towards enabling your employees to uh, our employees to work remotely from the safety of their homes. Today, as a result of the that pre preparation, CD Projekt Red switches to full remote work for as long as it's needed. We think it will be grant every team member the highest level of personal health safety. And while this is uh, all is a bit new to everyone, we are ri rising to the challenge and showing no signs of stopping in our effort to bring you some kick-ass role-playing action in September. Woo, baby! Stay safe, everyone, CD Projekt Red. Big respect, big respect, CD Projekt Red. Uh, I, I believe they are amazing. <laughs> they are prepared for that. They are fully working remotely now and just just amazing and they they do not intend to delay cyberpunk that's amazing uh, it, more probably it will, will happen they will delay maybe but they try not to so thank you for that yeah amazing amazing so that was it for tonight guys then Thank you so much for watching. I am Mista and that was Game On, Gaming News with Mista. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Let's talk in the comments below. What do you think about the Swix news? Uh, you can check it out on youtube.com slash Gaming and also on podcast everywhere. iTunes and uh, Play Store and Spotify. So yeah, please check it out and I'm going to see you on the next one. Take care guys, peace.